In this video, we're going to talk about how to tell if an object or vehicle is speeding up or slowing down. So let's work on this problem. A car is traveling at negative 36 meters per second with an acceleration of negative 4 meters per second squared. So first, let's start with this question. Is the velocity of the car increasing or decreasing? What would you say? Now we could find the answer just by looking at the sign of the velocity, I mean of the acceleration rather. If the acceleration is negative, that means that velocity is decreasing. If the acceleration is positive, the velocity is increasing. And that is it to it. That, that's all. So in this case, the acceleration is negative 4 meters per second squared. That means that the velocity is decreasing 4 meters per second every second. So that's the answer to part A. The velocity of the car is decreasing. Now what about part B? Is the car speeding up or is it slowing down? And how can we tell? Well let's make a table first. Let's put time and velocity. And at the same time, we're going to put speed. Now, instantaneous speed is the absolute value of velocity. So velocity can be positive or negative, but speed is always positive. So at t equals 0, initially, the velocity is negative 36. One second later, the velocity will be negative 40, because we said that the velocity is decreasing due to the negative acceleration. Two seconds later, it's going to be negative 44. So notice that every second, the velocity decreases by 4 meters per second. Now, speed is always positive. So if the velocity is negative 36, the speed is positive 36. So speed is the absolute value of velocity. Now, looking at these numbers, would you say the vehicle is speeding up or slowing down? In this case, it is speeding up. Now, is there a faster way of determining if a car is speeding up or slowing down? Is there a shortcut to this? And it turns out that there is. And all you need to do is look at the assign of velocity and the sign of acceleration. So the vehicle is speeding up if the signs for velocity and acceleration are the same. So if acceleration and velocity are both positive, the vehicle is speeding up. Or if they're both negative it's still speeding up as we saw in this particular example. Now the vehicle is slowing down if the signs of acceleration and velocity are different. So if acceleration is positive and if velocity is negative, it's slowing down. Or if the acceleration is negative and if the velocity is positive, it's slowing down. And so we're going to see that's the case in part C. So let's read it first. What would be the answer to part A and B if the acceleration was positive 4 meters per second squared instead of negative 4? So the velocity is still negative 36. So I'm just going to put the sign. It's still negative, but the acceleration is now positive. So based on that, the car should be slowing down because the sign of velocity and acceleration, they're different. Now let's make a table to confirm it. So let's plot time, velocity, and speed. So at t equals 0, the velocity is negative 36. Now if the acceleration is positive 4, what will the velocity be one second later? If acceleration is positive, that means that velocity is increasing. So it's increasing by 4. 
That means that if you add 4 to negative 36, you'll get negative 32. So every second, we're going to add 4 to the previous value. Now, the speed is going to be the absolute value of velocity. So we're just going to have positive values on the right side. So looking at these values going from 36 to 20, would you say the vehicle is speeding up or slowing down? If you're moving at 36 meters per second and now your speed is 20, you're slowing down. You're not speeding up. And so we can see that's the case here. And that's basically it. So to review, remember, the vehicle is speeding up if the signs of velocity and acceleration are the same. And the vehicle is slowing down if the signs of velocity and acceleration are different. And that is it. So that's all I got for this video. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And thanks again for watching.